What's going on, everybody? This is Ryan A. Polk, and welcome to the wrap up. And I know it has been a while. I am currently recovering from a terrible car accident that I was in last month, which caused me to get this broken, a broken right scapula, which is why I have this on, four broken ribs, and also a fractured back. But you know, that doesn't mean that I still lost my mojo. And today, I'm going to review 3,000 Years of Longing, which stars Idris Elba and Tilda Swinton. And in this movie, you got Tilda Swinton's character who releases a genie that is played by Idris Elba. And he, and he offers her three wishes in exchange for his freedom. Now, when I first saw the trailer for this, I did want to see it because... Because, you know, Idris Elba, he's a good actor. And, you know, and stuff with genies, you know, genie movies. You know, I, I, I do like them, even though there's not too many genie movies. But it looked like it was going to be good. And, and sure, and but I will say this. When, when I seen it, it was definitely not something like how the way I expected it. Now, was it a bad movie? No, it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't a bad movie. You know, just, just how the way I expected it. It wasn't like most genie movies, and and you guys know here here on the wrap up, I don't spoil movies because that's not my thing, but it definitely definitely was a different type of genie movie, and and un and I I wonder because I wouldn't necessarily say it was like how I saw in commercials where it was like Aladdin for adults, because it's a different storyline, but the storyline was creative. And now, was I bored with it? Um, I almost was kind of bored with it for a minute, but then as the story went on, it did interest me more. And if you're a fan of Idris Elba and Tilda Swinton, then I think you will like this movie. If you do like genie movies, even though, like I said, it's not a lot, then I think you will kind of like this. And we had saw this on on National Cinema Day when when when. Well, even though it was already out before then, but that was when we had saw it. Only paid three dollars to see it, and I think it was worth three dollars. Definitely was. And is it one of the best movies of the year? Mm, I would say, I would say probably, I would say probably yes. It is one of the best movies of the year, but can I see it winning anything? No. And judging on how the way this movie ended, could a sequel be made? Um, maybe, but I highly doubt it will. But, I mean, all I'm going to say is just this. Uh, 3,000 years of longing. It, you know, it it, it, it is a, it's kind of like a little, like, drama, kind of drama type, type of thing. And, I don't know, I just feel like if I say more, I'm going to spoil it. But, yes, it is, it, it, it is, it is entertaining for the most part. And interesting. Very interesting. And... Should you go see it, or should you go wait for it to go to the red box? I think you should go see it, but definitely see it on a discount day or a matinee price. Because I'm gonna be honest, it is worth that. I wouldn't wanna, I wouldn't wanna pay expensive movie price to go see it. And for its for its grade, and it was hard for me to grade this. I give three thousand years of longing. A, I give it a, I give it a B minus. Give it a B minus. Out of five stars, I would give it give it three out of five stars because special effects was good, the acting was good. Tilda Swinton and Idris Elba they had such a good chemistry on the set. They both did a good job acting. Oh, and it's also directed by George Miller. So yes, it's another good movie that George Miller had directed. Who was the director of Max Mary Fury Road? So yeah, another good one for him. So with that being said, this is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap up. And if you've seen the movie, feel free to comment below what you thought about the movie. And if you like this review, feel free to like it or still comment below what you thought about this review. And if you want to see more reviews from me, do hit that subscribe button too to see some more reviews.